What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Look who we're here with this morning. Somebody's very excited. Don't bite. Don't bite into the mango. We're hyping him up a little bit here. Can you take this? Can we, can we open this up? No, not with your mouth. With your hand. Be civilized. Guys, if you haven't met him before, this is Lambani. If you haven't met me, I'm nothing special, but I am Landon Cher, and today we have a really cool video because, well, right now we're cutting the mango, but we just got some wolf puppies here at the zoo. Lambani, are you ready to meet some wolf puppies? Maybe in another video. I don't know. I think we're going to meet them for the first time today, but we have to cut a mango right now because Lambani's waiting for his breakfast. We got to be really careful with our knife. Let's see. Let's flip this around. This is a special mango from one of my best friends. He's got a really good tree, and what's nice about this mango is the texture of it is very soft. The taste is amazing. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. He's like, why do we go to wait? What's the hold up? The seed is very thin, and so it is really nice to just be able to cut down like this. Ooh, look at this. We've got da, 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 di, da, da, di, da, da. don't touch it with your nasty chimpy hands. Let me see this hand. Oh, and pick your nose before you give it to me. Oh, we got high fives. Everyone's very excited today. Okay, you know what? Let's peel this. Lambani is a seven-year-old chimpanzee, almost seven years old. He is currently like six and six and uh, three quarters. His birthday is in August. Oh, 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 stop, stop touching the knife. Oh my goodness. It's a good mango. What do we have there, Lambani? Mmm. He'll probably start making these like grunting sounds. That means he loves it. Somebody is loving their mango piece. That is the seed right there. So he's just getting all of that meat, all of that goodness off of the seed, which is just amazing enrichment for him. He doesn't always get treats like this. Mangoes are not always in season, but this time of year, it is mango season here in Miami in South Florida. And it's one of the most special things about living down here. We get these beautiful fruits that we get to pick from the trees and enjoy it with our family and our friends. And I think Limbani is a part of our family. Can you stop it? Can you stop it? That's for you. Finish that. Do you guys want a piece? You guys get a piece. Sean gets a piece. I get a piece. Monkey gets a piece. He's not a monkey. He's an ape. I call him monkey because it's funny. It's a stinky monkey, chunky monkey, funky monkey. He is not a monkey though. He is a great ape. Here, you want this piece? All right. Now that Limbani has his breakfast, we are ready to go. We're ready to start the day and you are ready to meet these wolf puppies. These little guys are crazy and I cannot wait to share them with you guys. But first, they need their breakfast too. So let's get them some breakfast. And there we go. Look at it. We actually got four bowls now. Turned two into four. How do we do that? We filled it all with meat. We filled it all with stuff. We got flies. We don't want the flies. Let's get a move on it. One eternity later. So the other day when we were here, it started pouring rain. The wolves got their food. The singing dogs got their food. But we were not able to film it for you because the camera limits us to interacting with things in the rain. And we obviously can't get the expensive camera wet or else you guys cannot follow these adventures. So today we are back and we have some beef franks. And before we go over to the singing dogs and the wolf puppies, we are going to have to, uh, we're going to have to see my friend Lazy here. Can you guys see my friend Lazy over here? Are you a big stinky alligator boy? Come on in. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness. Do you want to be frank? You want to be frank? Oh yeah, the glizzy, the glizzy goes right down. Lazy, you are a good big alligator boy. There's no more left. There's no more left for you. So now we are here at the side of the zoo where all the puppies are. Oh goodness, oh, we, we like a little hot dogs. Oh, we got scared by the bush. Like a little hot dogs. This is not the wolf that we are, uh, that we are meeting today. The wolf is hiding behind that rock over there. I think Wolf Puppy is a little bit shy. Oh, there she is right there. We're gonna see if she's gonna come out if she wants a little beef treat. They did just eat this morning. They had their breakfast, their big old meat bowls that you guys saw before. That's kind of what they get all the time. But if you come right over here, follow me this way. We have a special friend across the way. Before we go into that enclosure, we're gonna have to go over here because we have an extra little beef frank and I think our friend over here wants it. Jibbers, come on Jibbers. Oh, Jibbers, what do we have here? What do we got here, Jibbers? 
Oh, that smells delicious. I don't know if I've ever had a little hot dog before. Somebody is coming out of their little treetop barrel bin. That's where he loves to hang out. You guys have met him before. This is the clouded leopard, Mr. Jibbers. Are you gonna come down your walkway over here? Is this how you wanna navigate through the enclosure this morning? Oh wow, look at this. We're getting a full show. Look what we have right here. What do we have here? He says, I don't know if I'm really too interested in this. I just figured we'd offer him a treat because it's nice when everyone can get offered a treat, whether they want it or not. It's up to him. So with that, this guy is gonna go in my pocket right here. We're just gonna, we're just gonna slip it in. That'll be for the wolf puppies and the singing dogs. That'll be extra treats, but Jibbers, what are you doing this fine morning? Right now, he's pretty active because it's cool this morning. So it's really nice to get you guys to see an up close look of him. Oh goodness, Mr. Jibbers. He says, I don't want to be rubbed up on. I don't want to be held right now. And that's just fine. Usually we're able to hold him, pick him up. He'll come scratch on us, but we kind of let them do whatever they want. So now that we've seen Jibbers, let's head over to the wolves. Oh man. All right, who do we got here? Who do we got here? It is the New Guinea singing dogs. You guys probably haven't really met them either. Oh goodness, you guys are aggressive. You guys are mean. You are ferocious. Come over here, come over here. All right. We got the little piece of hot dog. I don't know how you guys are gonna be eating this. Are you gonna be aggressive? Can you be nice? Sit down, down, down. Sit, can you guys sit? I don't think anybody has really been working with training these guys. They're like, hot dogs? We never got beef frank hot dogs. Oh look, we got wagon tails. Guys, these are our new Guinea singing dogs. I think we got a little smudgy on here. There we go, I think we're all clean now, but we've got our treats here, but this is not who we're trying to meet today. I was just informed that one of the levs, uh, one of the wolf puppies actually left this morning. We have somebody who has worked here before that deals with training all sorts of amazing uh, canines for the Miami-Dade Police Department, and they're gonna try to train the boy wolf puppy, and I think we'll go to that facility. So if you guys wanna see some canine training with a wolf puppy, then you guys are gonna have to subscribe to the channel. But we still have the little girl over here, and look how beautiful she is. What are you doing over here? What are you sniffing? Look at this beautiful girl. Oh my goodness. Are you a beautiful angel? I don't even know if we have names for them, guys. So you guys are gonna have to comment down below a name suggestion for this beautiful girl. You're kind of a dirty mess. You're kind of a dirty mess. You're gonna need a bath soon. Guys, if you guys wanna see the wolf pups get a bath, then you guys are gonna have to stick around. Let's see. We have put the New Guinea singing dogs away because they were being a little overwhelming and I think they were actually kind of making her a little more intimidated to come up to us. So we just got these new puppies and I'm sure she's a little bit nervous since her brother left. Come here, look what we got for you. Look, look what we got. What is this? Food is always one of the best ways to interact with an animal because if they have a tasty treat, it just makes them excited. It makes them a little more comfortable to the situation. Right now, she doesn't really know about me being right here next to her, but she says at least if I can, oh, I'm getting a phone call. At least if I can be here and get a little treat, it's not so bad. Does that taste good? Oh. Somebody is on the move. What do we got here? What do we got here? There you go. It's okay. Guys, this is like the first time that we are meeting. You can come closer. This is like the first time that we are meeting these puppies. I hung out with them once before with the male and the female and the New Guinea singing, singing dogs. But now we're trying to hang out in here and this female was shy to begin with. These wolves are not domesticated like your dogs at home. They are more wild. These are the ancestors of your dogs, the wild ancestors. And so they are a little bit shy, but it's gonna be really interesting to see how this little girl opens up to us over time as she grows, this coat that she's gonna get on her, the size that she's gonna get, her demeanor, all of it is gonna be different than your dogs at home and what I'm used to interacting with. So it's gonna be a very neat experience for me and also for you guys to follow along. So like I said, 
you guys are just gonna have to follow this journey if you're not already I really appreciate if you guys are new to the channel we're waiting for her to come back over here we don't want to make her do anything uncomfortable especially as this is one of our first interactions there she is oh goodness let's see if you want to explore up here what is this Somebody go in the pond. Somebody went in the pond. We don't really have a name, as I said, so I don't even know what to call her besides little cute wolf girl. But, okay, all right, we'll put you down. We'll put you down. What's up? Is that your little cave? She is just so beautiful, guys. I cannot express how excited I am to be able to work with them. I know I've said it a bunch this video. Not the craziest video because she didn't give us so much, but that's okay. All of these animal interactions are different. I've got a little bit of leavings on my butt, but that is part of life at the zoo. And guys, we're gonna let the singing dogs back out to let them kind of play together. It really stinks that she isn't all over me and happy and just the way that we kind of wanted her to be, but that is okay. In the future, she's gonna be loving. She's gonna be all over us. She's gonna be readily eating out of our hands. And that's just to show the progress that can happen in one of these relationships here. So we're gonna be working at it. We're gonna see her soon on the channel. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. It really supports me. Check out some of our products down below at livepositively.com. We have dog treats, cat treats, all sorts of stuff, holistic organic products, and you guys need to check it out. There'll be merch on there soon. If you guys want some of that, it would really help out the channel a lot. But if not, I'll see you guys in the next adventure. Peace.